Hi everyone, so here's the news setup that we had today on gold. So as you can see, this is the gold chart and we're looking on the one minute, okay? So we are going to look at the news candle at this point. What news? The 8.30 New York time zone red folder news that we had today, okay? That candle is this one over here. That's the candle, okay? So that's the candle that we're looking at. So if I'll zoom out, you'll see that that news candle spiked down and took out sell side liquidity, okay? So we have a strong, strong bearish candle that sweeps sell side liquidity at a high impact news event okay so now think of it like this if the news candle closes bearish strong body not necessarily strong body that, like strong body doesn't necessarily mean like a body that's bigger than wick you just see a firm bearish close okay even if the body is not bigger than the wick it doesn't matter the point is that the candle closed bearish and it took out sell side. This is a very important aspect. Okay, it took out sell side. So I have bearish candle that goes down, takes sell side. Okay, and now if we are going to violate the high of the news candle or sometimes more importantly, the swing high that the news candle is part of, which in this case is fast swing high over here, then we're thinking that the sell side that the news candle swept is being now used as a pair to smart money long orders, right? So smart money are manipulating or are, let's say, inducing market participants to sell, making them believe that um, a support from the left side of the chart has been broken to the downside um, or that let's say they are taking out the stop loss of early buyers okay so at this point they induced sales or sellers and now they are showing us a willingness to send price higher because the swing high that originated the news candle that, that the news candle originated from is now being broken to the opposite direction opposite to what to the liquidity that it swept so if it swept sell side opposite direction would be to break to the upside okay so if that happens now you want to check whether on the up move that broke the high of the news candle is going to create a bullish fair value gap Okay, and preferably that bullish fair value gap should be in the discount uh, portion of that price range. So the price range that breaks the high of the news candle starts from that low, the low of the news candle itself, and goes all the way up to that high. Okay, so that's my range. So I'll take a fib at this point and I'll put it on that move. And in here, in the bottom 50%, Okay, so in this area, I want to see a bullish fair value gap on that bullish price leg. But you can see here that there is no bullish fair value gap in there. So from that low all the way to that high, there is no bullish fair value gap. And I've actually also checked the 30 seconds chart to see if there was a bullish fair value gap below 50% in here. So basically, that would mean in here, right, on the wick of the candle. But there was no bullish fair value gap either on the 30 seconds chart and i could have checked probably the 15 seconds chart but you know didn't do that actually yeah um so at this point because i don't have a confirmation that i can wait for a pull back down into that bullish fair value gap and then wait for the entry trigger to happen so that we can actually consider taking a long setup because we don't have that bullish fair value gap now two things can happen Okay, so first thing that can happen is that price is going to break the low of the news candle. So this means that this push to the downside is no longer just a pullback. It's going to be a break of structure at this point. So if that occurs, the down leg that breaks the low 
of the news candle after it initially broke the high but now it breaks the low i want to see if there is a premium fair value gap in there bearish fair value gap and if there is then i wait for price to rebalance that give me a bearish candle and then i'll take the short targeting higher time frame areas of sell side liquidity okay but if that doesn't occur okay if this is indeed a pullback and the low of the news candle is going to be respected how do i know that this is just a pullback and that eventually it will not just go down and eventually break the low of the news candle how do i know that well, it's very simple i have to wait until this high is going to be broken to the upside even by a fraction of a pip you don't have to wait for price to close above it so think of it like this we have a swing high and then we have the news impact that goes down and sweeps sell side liquidity okay and then price breaks to the upside then comes down does not create a new low lower than the low of the news candle and then it goes up and breaks this high so if that occurs you want to look on the bullish fair value gap what bullish fair value gap bullish fair value gap that it's in discount of the price leg that broke that high now because we didn't have a bullish fair value gap on this up leg that broke the high of the news candle okay we didn't have that to be able to take a um you know bullish trade off of that fair value gap so if that is missing you have to wait for an extra confirmation which is what either price will break the low of the news candle with a bearish fair value gap you wait for price to rebalance that and then you look for short setups or you wait for price to go above this high okay after that high went above the high of the new scandal making sure that the low of the new scandal is still being respected so if that occurs if this high is violated then on that up move that broke that high okay so basically i'm looking at this i have the high of the new scandal we break that okay break retest and then we have a follow-through right so if the follow-through occurs then what i want to do is i want to locate a discount bullish fair value gap on that bullish price leg that broke that high so if we're going to put a fib in here initially you're going to put it like that right and because you know you have that little swing low and then basically this is the portion of that price leg from that low to that high that breaks above that high Okay, so initially you have this and the only discount fair value gap that we have here would be that one. But you can see that price just pushes through it and then violates that low. Okay, so now I just extend the fib back down to that low because now that's the originating swing low from where this move to the upside um, started to form from and then it went up and broke that high, created the follow through move. Okay, so now in this case, the only bullish fair value gap that I have in discount of this um, price leg that I've put the fib on uh, is going to be this one. Okay, and yeah, you could just extend it all the way till that candle's wick, right? You can do that because there are, there's no... A top wick on that candle and there's, there's no bottom wick on that candle so you can just simply take the fair value gap from that candle's top wick to that candle's bottom wick okay so this is the only discount fair value gap that we have on that bullish price leg right now if price comes down into this fair value gap and gives you one bullish candle okay that is your signal to buy so in this case that bullish candle once it closed bullish after rebalancing this fair value gap that is your signal to buy okay so in this case let's just change the color of that fair value gap we're gonna make it blue okay so in this case your entry would have looked something like this your stop loss has to go two pips below that low or whatever number of pips is needed in order to make sure that you are going to accommodate your broker spread. Okay. And this is what price did, right? This looks more like a high resistance liquidity run. 
because Price, you know, it took a lot of time for Price to develop this entire move, but still, you're getting nice profits off of this, so you cannot really complain. It would be just stupid. Okay, so it will look like this. That's your entry. And boom, you can see what price did after that. And if we were to just quickly calculate, like the entry would have been around 2010 point, let's say 2010.50. Okay, it's 2010.29 or 30. But if we also add like a, you know, two pip spread, then we're going to go like 2010.50. The stop loss is going to be around 20 pips and so far price went up for about 100 pips. So that's that's roughly a 1 to 5 R so far. Okay, I'm not saying that you would have hold, uh, held your entire position for that much, but price never came back to break even. Okay, so your runner would have done pretty nicely at this point. Now, a little earlier um, in the RBV private chat, I've actually told people that they should be buying in that fair value gap. And that is the fair value gap that was created at 946 New York time zone. So um, 4.46 p.m. in my broker's time zone it's similar to 9.46 New York time, okay? So Eastern Standard Time. So in this case, the reason why I um, said that that's actually the uh, candle that I'm looking at, the, the fair value gap that I'm going to take a buy from, the reason why I said that at that point was because I was looking on my phone and I didn't notice that that high was violated by a tiny little bit in here. And I can actually show you because, you know, it's pretty hard sometimes to see whether a high or a low is violated on a phone. Um, but yeah, it was pretty hard for me to see it on my phone today. Um, but yeah, you can see that it was actually violated. So if I were to look at the high of this candle which is written in here. So that's the open, high, low, close, okay? So I have the high, which is 2013.21. And then the high in here is 2013.23. So this high was pierced by, so this high was pierced by this high, with two points that is two pipettes so that's the fifth a fifth of a pip it was, it was pretty unnoticeable <laughs> on my phone when i checked so because i didn't see that this high was already broken i thought that we broke this high with that high over here Okay, so that's why I said that that is the fair value gap, the 946 New York time bullish fair value gap. Uh, that's why I said that that's the fair value gap that I want to buy from. Okay, here it is. And you can see the other reactions that price had from that fair value gap, because again, you're just looking at the same thing. So you had the news candle, we had the break the retest and then a follow through, right? And then you have another break of that high now. So now that fair value gap, okay? Now this becomes important. We should not see price violating this one just as much as we should not have seen price violate this one when it went up there and then it came back inside of it, okay? So this is a very, like the news setup the RBV new setup, the way I call it, it's 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 been great so far. I had um, this year because I've traded it a lot this year. I've traded the CPI news. I've traded non-farm payrolls. I've traded PPI. I've traded um, today's. You know, it was like more like an orange red folder news, but um, on my FX, but it was red folder news. 
put on for X factory it was uh, orange folder news but still it doesn't really matter if it's red folder news or orange folder folder news what matters is it's uh, how is the news candle reacting right what's the reaction at the news does it take a sell side buy side how is the candle is it big bearish is it big bullish did it take out sell side did it take out buy side and is price then breaking that candle in the opposite direction to where it took liquidity and if it does is it gonna break it retest and then do a follow-through because if it does that you're in for a treat and if it doesn't do that and it breaks it to the upside and then comes down tries to break higher but it doesn't it fails and then it breaks lower then you know that you're going to wait for a pullback into a premium fair value gap and then you're going to target lower areas of sell side liquidity okay i hope you really enjoyed today's lesson in this video and yeah you can actually comment and let me know what do you guys think about this strategy and you can also back test it because it's so simple to back test because you just go precisely on that day that you know that you had a red folder news and this doesn't only work with gold it also works with um forex pairs to you eu um pretty much all the pairs that you can think of that are gonna have red folder news at one point so yeah i hope you enjoyed this and um yeah thanks for watching bye